Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we've um, just going through clearing up some old videos that needed to be done. They were requested by fans who watch us and asked for requests. Today is why does a plane have radio and barometric altimeters? So just a very, very, very quick description. This is a barometric uh, altimeter and it tells your altitude by the air pressure that it's measuring. So you would typically zero it. You would use this knob here. You can set the QFE. Sorry, I can't do that in this particular plane because it's not a full model, but you would turn that knob usually and zero it to the airfield that you are, uh, usually known as QF, uh, QFE, um, which is the pressure, particular pressure of this airfield, or you would zero it to the sea level there to get um, a true sea level altitude. So that's roughly how that a barometric altimeter works. It's the pressure. In addition, a lot of planes have a radio altimeter so uh, this is your radio radio altimeter in this one in meters and it works by well i don't actually know how it works sherman i'm guessing sending just bouncing radio waves off the ground just like a radar i guess it, it is a radar altimeter not a radio altimeter and yes the way it works is it just sends a radar pulse directly downward and to determine the altitude from the ground well just i'm guessing uh, uh, i mean accuracy wise i both i i, I suspect they're both pretty accurate but i guess the radio is going to be more accurate because it's not going to be put off by like fluctuations in the air and you know because um, any movement of air like in a wind would change pressure and stuff like that so i guess we'd say that's more accurate so the question to actually answer is so that's roughly how they work why do you have both a barometric altimeter is great if you're dealing with terrain that is relatively flat and there's a good system ground level. Radar altimeters are great for when you're flying through somewhere which has elevated terrain. So for example, there's a whole bunch of mountains off to the east. If you fly in there, especially in low visibility, having a radar altimeter is rather useful because your barometric altitude will be at a set altitude implying that, the, that there's a constant ground level. Yep. With a radar altimeter, you can at least have a chance to realize, that, oh shit, the terrain is rising and maybe I should pull up. So to visualize that, I'm going to zoom in on those mountains over there. So, over there, that is sea level, so that's where I've got my barometric altimeter set to zero there. Over there is where my purser is, is halfway up a mountain. Now, it, let's say we were flying at night or in fog and we couldn't actually see that mountain, then if we were flying and uh, almost uh, at that level there just about to run into that mountain because we couldn't see our barometric altimeter here would be saying we're flying at let's say that is 5,000 feet it would say that we're, we're at 5,000 feet because it only tells us the pre air pressure ie below the sea level so we would have if we just had a barometric altim altimeter we would run straight into that mountain if we couldn't see it now so that's where your radio altimeter comes in like Sherman said your radio or radar altimeter actually works off the terrain below it so the radar altimeter at that point there would read approaching zero so it basically the radar altimeter takes into account terrain which is very important when you're flowing around terrain on mountains the um out, the barometric altimeter does not take into account terrain and will happily allow you to fly straight into the side of a mountain so both as you can see there when flying in bad conditions which is very common for you know real combat pilots you're going to be flying at night half of the time and in fog a lot of the time so you'll be constantly switching between your radar and your barometric altimeter to know if you're about to crash into something so that's why they're there lovely clears that one up nice and easy uh, ask any more questions and we'll make videos of it kind regards and we'll see you later